Okay, hi, all right, I'm back and I wanna talk about some of the things that you need to get started with sourdough. So here are some of the items that um, you should just have on hand. You will need flour and water and use filtered water. Don't use chlorinated water. If you could use filtered water, that would be the best. Um, I like to uh, grind up wheat berries. These are organic, hard, white wheat berries. So I'll use that and then I will also use um, just organic store-bought um, white flour as well. So I kind of go back and forth. So I like to grind it and I store it in the fridge and in this type of thing right here. And it's, it's a little, um, so a little more wheat, a little more dense than your traditional white stuff that you get from the store. Then I also like to have a quart jar. Um, and you can use any type of jar. You can use a much bigger jar. You could use a quart jar. Um, and I have a spoon. That's a nice long spoon to reach down in there. And I have some cheesecloth that actually goes over the top of it because you don't want to put a hard lid and cover this because what this flour water mixture is doing is grabbing yeast, wild yeast from the air to feed it. And that's how you get um, your yeast so you don't have to buy the yeast in the jars from the store. So this is how that works. So um, this is um, fully fermented right here. It started off about half and it goes to about and then it increases, it doubles. And this is where I could take my cup or whatever you need to build or to make your bread. Um, so right now it's fully fermented. There's lots of great um, bubbles in there. It smells yeasty and sweet. Um, so this is the point right now um, that it'll start going back down. But I like to go ahead and um, keep that covered up until I need to, to use it. Um, so every day when you do the um, sourdough, you need to dis discard it. And so this is the discard. It is basically spent. It's already ate everything. It's broken down all the phytic acid and all the other stuff. Um, and you can use the discard for um, lots of lots of stuff. Um, muffins, waffles, uh, pancakes. Oh, that makes really great um, crackers that are super easy to just mix up and put in the oven and then bake them and they're really good. Um, so I like to do that. So I just save the discard in the fridge. Oh, it makes great pie crust too with lard. Ooh, it's the best. So um, usually when this fills up, it's a couple cups, so then I know I need to go ahead and actually use something with it. But it lasts a long time in the fridge, which is nice. Um, you can also make like a master dough sourdough. And this is what it is right here. I let it, uh, I mixed it up. I put it on the counter for a couple hours. I store it into the fridge until I need it. I would actually make some hamburger buns with these. Um, I store that in the fridge. I'll make my buns with the pinch and pull method, let it rise, and then bake them. So it's kind of like having dough all ready for you that's just sitting in the fridge ready for you to go. Um, so those are the things that you need. And then here's just a, a, a basic sourdough sandwich loaf. Nothing fancy. It's not an artisan loaf. I've got a loaf and a half sitting there. Um, I do do make the artisan loaves and we really, really like them. But on a, a daily basis, I like to have a loaf of bread because it's great toast, it's great sandwiches, it's great um, uh, grilled cheese with the homemade tomato soup and I'll put the link below for that as well. Um, so that's what's really nice about um, just having a sandwich bread and it's great. You just You need to have it every day, right? So I have that. So to get started with your sourdough starter, it's quite a lengthy process and it takes about a month. And there's lots of different versions of how people kind of come up with it. But basically what you're doing is feeding it every single day, discarding it twice a day, or actually you do it twice a day. So you feed and discard twice a day until you build it up. And after a month, you'll get that. It'll start to really uh, bubble and get going. And then you can start actually baking breads with it. But you still save the discard that whole entire month. And you can still use many of our recipes with the discard. It just doesn't have that sourdough bubbly type of action going on with it. So um, I'll eventually get into um, exact description how to get that started. You could get gifted. Somebody could give you their some discard. You take it home and you feed it then. So that's how you get started with that. So um, come back to part three and we're going to talk about um, just some kind of tips and tricks that I like to give um, that I've kind of learned to deal with with my sourdough. So I'll see you in the next video.